Hey everyone, it's Farmer John here. Welcome back to Farm Sim 17. Today, we're doing a mod review. And we got quite a few pieces of equipment here. We are going to be reviewing. Oh, what the heck is this tractor? The Valtra T234WR Edition. This is the fastest tractor in the game so far at a speed of. I think it's 135. Well, let's go for a test of this tractor. And anyways, thank you all for joining me today. Uh, very nice to have you watching the video. We're gonna take this out for a spin for a bit. Just get it up to max speed here. We're gonna see how fast this this guy goes here. So this this could come very very handy when you're transporting grain, you know, logs and stuff because it is the fastest vehicle in the game. Uh, all you have to do to download these mods, go to the mod section and just install it and it will send it over to your uh, queue for downloading. See? Fast. Fast freaking tractor. Holy crap. Well, I'm just going to keep going and we'll do a hard turn at the end and maybe we'll see if we can get her to flip. Alright, alright. And right about now. Well, that happened. But, something that really comes in handy. Oh, yeah. Alright, so what this means now. Now. <laughs> so we're now driving <laughs> a reverse tractor. Or, uh or a bi-directional tractor you know it actually goes fairly fast in or uh, going the other way it's wow that's amazing I'd like to see this tractor in real life to see if it actually goes this fast this would be amazing uh, oh <laughs> that was a little scary but anyways <clears throat> something that you could do as a practical application for your farm is uh, because it has this reverse drive, you could throw on your uh, oh your triple headed mower onto this side, and you can go cut cut grass fairly quickly with this tractor. Um, there's a few other ap applications as well. I think you can actually uh, right in the back here. I think you could actually hook it up and and bale this way as well. So you see, there's lots of room here, but if we turn the other way, I mean looking the other way, there might not be enough uh, space to look out the window and stuff like that. So, I don't know, it, it, it just might be a bit of an option there. Uh, but other than that, that's pretty much it for this tractor. It's, you know, it's relatively fast. But uh, anyways, we're going to... Oh, wow. All right, we're going to change our driving direction and we're going to go and hook up to our other mods that we got going here. Oh, oh, just a little off the road here. I just looked away from the screen for like two seconds. See? Distracted driving. Okay, so our next mod, we got the Homer mod. And uh, basically, it comes with... <coughs> Oh, oh, one sec. All right, there we are. We got the Homer Terra variant 600 Eco. So you see this unit? It's very, very huge. Oh, wow. We got all steering. Front steering? Okay, so what What does this do then? Okay, uh, let's change this. Oh! Oh, well, that is interesting. <laughs> so you kind of need to be in control. Oh my gosh, why is it going sideways? Is there a, is there a way to? Uh... No, we're gonna unload or unfold. Okay, 
Oh, I see. All right. Okay. Crab steering left. Oh. All right. Okay. And then. Oh, I see. So we can. Ah, I see. And then also, I think we could just. Yeah. So there is just the front steering. Well, that's not bad. Okay. So all wheel steering. That's great. All right. Let's back up under R1 hopper here. Get hooked up. We'll just have a look. We'll we'll hook them all up and see what it looks like. See, this isn't bad. Now, this particular unit is. Oh, wait one minute. Okay, so you can. It's got a three-point hitch in the back. So, is it possible that you could get like another trailer on here or something? I don't know. We'll have to. We'll have to figure it out but anyways so now we can pipe out I'm expecting this is gonna be for your grain and stuff this is coming very handy let's check out the top speed of this bad boy put that pipe in uh oh uh oh uh oh back up back up back up oh no okay <laughs> oh my gosh um we're experiencing some technical difficulties oh my gosh Okay, <laughs> this is not what I signed up for. Okay, well, I'll just let <laughs> I'll just let you glitch over there for a bit, and uh, we'll go get. Oh, there goes stop sign. See, I'm not a very good driver. Oh, stop here. Maybe it'll. <laughs> it's still stuck there. Okay, so let's take a look at the cab. The cab looks great. This is a great interior. All right, we've hit our max speed, so we're at 42 kilometers an hour. Probably 43 going downhill. Uh, maybe, maybe not. So this is not bad. Just driving around the neighborhood in this big unit. I don't know exactly what you would call this. It's kind of like. Not exactly sure what kind of a, a unit this would be. Well, that happened. And now it's just stuck there. I wonder if I could ram it and it would come off of there. Let's just do that. Let's see if that worked. Okay, well, that's not working. We're going to forget about that. Okay, so the other. The other trailers here. Uh, this one I know uh, with the little conveyor that comes out the side of this one trailer here. It is specifically for hauling uh, sugar beets, I believe. So you see, you can put it on and then you can unfold the auger wagon. Now, I'm not exactly sure if it does potatoes or not. So let's just check that. Uh, let's just see here. I think it was an auger wagon. All right, so no, it, it is just sugar beets. Now our other one that we got stuck in the lamp post there—that's the grain tank. Uh, it holds 25,000 liters. The sugar beet holds 35, but uh, you can hold pretty much any grain: wheat, barley, canola, sunflower, soybean, corn. Uh, the only only things you can't haul is potatoes and. Uh, sugar beet so that's not so bad I mean you're not really doing potatoes and sugar beet right off the bat anyway all right all right so we're putting the pipe back in oh we're piping out and now we're gonna fold up or piping in now we're gonna fold it up and we're gonna detach it and then we'll hook on to our fertilizer spreader I don't know. This may be a, an interesting mod. So the fertilizer spreader one's going to be roughly about the same thing. So we're not going to hook on to that. We're going to hook on to our um, liquid manure sprayer. Oh, oh, that was terrible. All right. Okay. 
so we got that on. I think on its own. Okay, so you just need to fill it. Now, on its own, I think it can spray. And I think it's got a nozzle kicking around here somewhere where it does the spraying for you. Uh, just on its own. But then you can actually... Uh, going the wrong way. You can actually Oh, maybe this might not work. Oh, this might not work. Uh-huh. So staying to fill the tool first. Oh, there it is. Oh, okay. Just too far back. It, it wasn't registering what was going on there. Okay. So now, we pull out a bit. We'll go over here out of the way in the parking lot still, though. And we're going to unfold this cultivator. And we're going to have a look at it. So this is an actual cultivator. Very nice. Well, this could be interesting. It could be interesting. You might want to use this, like, when you're doing corn. But... I mean, at the end of the day, it is, I mean, if you were playing realism-wise, I don't know if you would go with this because you don't really get the impact out of the, out of the manure in this game. I, I don't think the, uh, I don't think they've put it in there where you would get more yield from the manure than you would from the, uh, synthetic fertilizer. So, um, for practicality, I, I don't agree that this, uh, that this mod actually is is that great for oh still on there. okay we need to disconnect that then we disconnect that but anyways uh, for practicality uses I don't think it's actually that great uh, now let's go over to our Vulture here, and I will show you the IT runner pack. Now, this one might be a little more practical, but still, the price points are quite a bit high, and pretty much the universal buckets that that Giants gives you or Farm Sim gives you right in the beginning is actually quite a bit better. But let's just test this out. We'll look at it and just see how everything works. All right, so now, all right, we need to the, extend the arm. So our arm is going to hook up to the skip over there, and it's going to bring it on. The skip there, it hauls anything, so it's good to know. All right, just got to get close enough. Oh, all right. Okay. Now, I think it's got wheels in the back here. Oh, yeah, it does have wheels in the back here, so when you're driving, it just skates along the ground a little bit. You know, you can pull your vehicle straight, so it's not so crazy when you go to put it on. Now, you load the container. So, the container's loading on there. That's beautiful. Nice. I love that they even put all the, you know, the actual cinematics there. See? Now, look at that. That's actually very, very spiffy very nice I like the I like the look of it but at the same time when you look at the price point let's look at the price point in here uh, so it would be under tipper I think yeah okay so you're looking at so even if you were used or to use the skip you're looking at you know twenty thousand twenty thousand dollars for eighteen thousand liters and then you're also looking at like the price point for um, all the ITR 2633HD. I mean, it's $55,000. So you're spending $75,000 for $18,000 worth of, of capacity. Now, I don't actually agree with that because you could just go further back. And uh, for the same price, 
for the same price you're looking at you know around the same price well let's go with this one the crone I mean you know seventy two thousand dollars and you're hauling fifty six thousand liters I mean you move up for three thousand more you're almost hauling or three thousand more than our uh, IT runner uh, pack there with the skip you're looking at you know almost sixty thousand dollars capacity which is nice because when you hit those um, those sell points you want to get as much grain as possible in those places because as soon as you put as soon as you drop grain and as soon as you get paid for that grain your prices are actually gonna go down and that's what I've noticed anyway so um, it's always best to take as much grain there at one time as you can I mean e even still like your your basic ones right in the beginning here that's 21,000 you're spending 25 grand that that's way more uh, way more worth uh, you know getting or getting these two pieces of equipment same with this too I mean you're looking at a hundred grand and a uh, hundred grand right in the beginning of the game for you know a little less than 50,000 I mean it's not worth it to be honest but you know if you wanted to play uh, for real realism sake and you wanted to uh, uh, recreate some some stuff that you've experienced well then go for it that you know but uh, for what I'm saying practicality use it just doesn't make sense uh, all right so what we're gonna do is we're gonna drop off the container and we're gonna go grab uh, another one I don't know exactly which one maybe the log or the bale one yeah we'll get the bale one Okay, so now we just switch and detach. And then you just drive away. Now you can keep the hook out because when you're going to go and get your uh, next piece of equipment here, and we will grab the bale one. See, this one is the logs, and the one beside it is the bales. So we'll grab the bale one. Make sure we're turning in here. At the end, we're gonna have some fun with uh, with this tractor, get it up to some wicked, wicked speeds, and <laughs> we'll show some. Uh, we'll do some jumps. Okay, so we'll load that on there. See, even still like this, you know. You, I mean, for all of these pieces of equipment here, I mean, the only one that wouldn't be so bad is your. Uh, your log your log trailer with this that makes a lot of sense because buying that right in the beginning if you go to all of your forestry equipment you're looking at I mean maybe you would get the timber runner I mean maybe that's the cheaper way and actually it seems like it cuz I mean all you need is the timber runner and then you need the dolly which is in uh, where would it be under again? Not trucks. Um, oh shoot! Oh, I think it's actually under dollies. <laughs> yeah. See, uh, what are we looking at? Twenty-six hundred dollars. And uh, if you get a big enough tractor, I mean, y you can pull that pretty well. Um, I think even the, you know, if you were doing wood or whatever, you could probably go with. I don't know. Say a hundred and fifty thousand dollar tractor, or even the seven hundred Vario. That that's pretty pretty easy. Actually, the fast track would get it done. So for an extra thousand, you could go with the JCB and get it done. But as for this mod, um, practically, I I don't think either of these mods actually uh, actually do the job. I to be honest, I think uh, it's nice to have more equipment. But at the same time, for practical usage, I mean, your your money's not uh, very well spent when you're doing that. But in the sense of, you know, you wanting to play around with the game and and just experience all the different equipment out in the world, I, I think it's actually an okay mod. You know, they did a really good job with the details. So, anyways, oh, let's get out of the way. We're gonna go do a jump. Let's find this jump. Man, this tractor just flies. Okay. Boop. 
Thank you, Light Stand, for stopping me. Oh, actually, I think we gotta go across the river. I think we gotta go across the river. I'm pretty sure this is where that jump was. It's it's pretty wicked. So if you get up to speed on this jump, uh, you'll go sailing right across that thing. It was either there or it was at another place. Pretty sure it was right there though. All right, let's get over here. And we'll flip around here. Oh, man. That's the only thing. You can't really do too many turns with this tractor going 130 kilometers an hour. It's pretty ridiculous. All right. So let's try and find this jump. Got to get enough speed coming at it. Otherwise, it's not going to work. And there's vehicles in the way. Well, this could be... Oh, my gosh. Well, that was failed. Hold on. There might be another one further down that we hit. Nope, this might be the one. Or was it further in? It might have been further in that we jumped it. Huh. I can't remember. I cannot remember now. But, as you can see, it doesn't take you very long to get from wherever you need to go uh, with with this tractor, I mean, you know, it moves very, very, very quickly. Uh, maybe here? Oh, yeah! Look at that! <laughs> that was actually pretty good. I quite enjoyed that jump. I thought we were going to crash and go in the water, but that was fairly, fairly well executed. Okay, actually, I think it's right here. I think, it, yeah, I think, oh, well, maybe. Let's try it again. Let's see what we're going to do here this time. Let's get turned around. Let's see if we can get our speed up before we get going over that hill. All right. All right, ready? Oop. Oh, no. Um, alright, well, now I'm all soaking wet, and my, <laughs> my tractor's at the bottom of the river, um, just, uh, don't tell nobody that I did that, and, uh, yep, that, that'll be right off. Anyways, thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. I, I hope you enjoyed the uh, the different mods. Uh, this is a Holmer. Not a bad package. Uh, just don't get caught on the light light or lamp posts, you know, like that. And, uh, you know, if you like these kinds of videos, if, if you like my mod reviews for the Xbox One, uh, just let me know. Hit me up in the comments. Uh, you know, leave me some constructive criticism, criticism, like I always say. You know, you could say something right there. You know, get your words right. Uh, also, if you like this video, you know, leave a like. Or if you want to see more, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it. I love the support. Uh, remember that uh, you would actually be a valued member here. Oh, look at that. Oh, I got it. Okay. All right, right on. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, everyone. You have a good day.